guys, today I'm at College's Crossing, um, just below the bridge there. Um, I'm sorry I had to do this voiceover on the black screen, because my um, video camera didn't, well, run out of space and storage, so it wouldn't allow me to do the, um, the intro, but I didn't realise. And there's another clip in there where I catch a fish, but you don't, you don't see me catch the fish, but you see me release it. And I've caught a few fish in the cast net. And, um, like a garfish and mullet. I got a mullet out for shark bait, but I only caught a bloody big old catfish on it. Big stinky catfish. But I brought the garfish home, I ate them. They tasted really, really nice. But I'm using a really shit little rod in there. It's a little pink $2 Kmart bloody rod and a little reel. I was originally using it for garfish, but something big snapped my rod, my bait caster. So I got stuck using that for the rest of the day. So, please hope you understand. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. I just chucked a bit of prawn. But no, a little bit because I haven't got many left. Um, so I've sent a few fish to see out there in the sand. I don't know if there must be a little school of broom out there, but not too bad. I was out here all day. Didn't get many broom at all. They just like, they just weren't taking it, but now they're starting to come back on. I'll try again. Last time I was here, I got a 57 centimeter brim, which is freaking a horse. But I didn't have my phone. I lost my phone, so I didn't get any photos of it. My mom did get a photo of it on her phone. Right, chuck out another little bit of prawn. There are people up there swimming. What idiots. Stuff like the freaking bull sharks in here. They're um, all around, which I've stepped on one long ago. It was just over there. I mean, forget how much water at low tide. Up here, it's like fresh. Uh, low tide and sold at high tide, like 100% sort of thing. It's getting it's fairly fresh now, but it's a really big body of water up top up there, and it pushes a lot of water out to the bottom, so bust there. Yeah, not quite. Oh, they're freaking sad. No bait. Alright, this is what's been happening all morning. Uh, chucking out there, and no bait. Guys, I haven't got the camera tilted up very high because it's big wind and it's been pushing over my tripod. So, yeah, there's a fast long current coming called an eddy on the back current there. And it's just, guys, I'm just back on. Buddy, well, I haven't made many videos recently because I just, like, yesterday I went pig chasing to try and get a video of that. But we went out for a walk and my sister didn't want to go for a walk, so she stayed in the car. And she realised there were people poaching the property. She seen them and thought that was one of the mates poaching. Um, she asked them what they're doing, they said nothing, they're going camping, but they were supposed to be known on the property. Um, we went back and tried to find them, couldn't find them. So, yeah, and the other day I came to this exact spot, at, uh, walking, fishing, got my cast net snagged, so I had a pair of waders up there. I didn't chuck them on because there was only about this much water I had to walk out in. Uh, first step in about that much water, I stepped in a bull route, and I was out of action there for a bit. And I was limping around, then I got that big ass mud crab not long ago. The claw that thinks has my hand, I'll put a photo of that in there somewhere. Maybe at the end. But yeah. Um I'll so on. So at least that fish he was on the size. He was twenty-four centimetres. So it was too close. So I'm gonna let him go. Um he swallows right down so I the line, but he's up the line instead of um just letting he reckon the fish is right in that. There he is, he's Don't know, guys. He's still got a little bit of kicking in. Nah, he's gonna make it. What's the beef? He's on the slides. So. I'm not going to try. You don't want to go on the way. Measuring P 
I'll be back in a second just back here again. Um, I'll just run up there, straighten out my cooking it. Another bit of prawn, but this is my burly I make. It works really, really well. Just send out, keeps the fish in the spot. Um, gets everything from the mullet, gar, brim, all those sort of fish come in. All it is is a couple handfuls, hand, handfuls of dog food, um, a handful of cat food, uh, a bit of water, a uh, heap of bread, and just whatever else really goes. I find that a bit of wheat mix apparently works fairly good. And sweet. I'll just chuck this back out. Same spot, but fairly. And the bite the bites are fairly quick here. So I just run out till I feel the bite, there's bite. Let the little slack go. Six to twenty-seven centimeters. Yeah. Twenty-seven centimeters. So yeah, about probably, probably twenty-five centimeters, maybe. I'll go measuring because I'm going to definitely feed the fish. He swallowed the hook right down there. I'll go get the hook out and I'll release him. Alright guys, sorry about the rest of that clip, it's not very long, that's all the footage that I managed to get. My camera, I did have heaps more, but my camera didn't really um, allow it, kept running out of storage space. But till next time, cheers and good luck. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.